Hello everybody. Hey, in this episode of Mr. Gonzalez Shows You Something, you're going to see how to book your mission on the Earth Cam to get some great photos. All right. So you're on the uh, quest, but right now it's got information about the famous Sally Ride and uh, her legacy, this Earth Cam, which actually stands for Earth Knowledge Acquired by Middle School Students. Amazing. And this is the pair deck that we're going to be doing together in class to learn about scale and perspective. Well, once you get to the Google Earth part, uh, this is where you're going to start. Before you can book the camera aboard the International Space Station to take pictures for you, you need to find places on Earth that you're interested about. So let's say I'm looking for, oh yeah, Nile River in Africa. And it takes me to the Nile River. Now I can zoom in and look at features that I'm curious about. Now remember, in terms of scale, getting really, really close is a small scale. That's zooming in. Coming out to where you can see uh, features that show you all, like look at those fractal geometric shapes uh, of, of the Nile River. Um, this is amazing. But zooming out to a medium scale allows you to see still some detail, uh, but more systems of things interacting. But zooming out to a large scale, far away, allows you to see bigger systems interacting. So you can see there uh, this sea and how close it actually is to the Nile River when you look at it from this far. And you've got Egypt there all the way up to Cairo. And maybe you want to see some uh, of the city of Cairo from the International Space Station to see what it looks like. So once you figure out some places, you want to write down your latitude and longitude. This is going to help you out. So I'm going to copy that and uh, remember that. Okay, so you get 10 codes. So you're going to look up 10 different places. And maybe you don't want to do them all in one day, but save them uh, because of the different orbit paths of the International Space Station. Then we're going to get to the screen on Pear Deck where you get this document, this uh, Google Sheet. It's got the link to the Sally Ride Earth Cam, and it's got the u mission name and password. So we're going to copy the username, and then we're going to go to login. And you have to do mission login, not teacher login, because that password won't work for teacher. There's the mission login, Gonzalez Al dash smock. And then copy the password, paste it there. There, that way you don't have to type it in letter by letter. And you're in, you're into the missions operation. Now you can read this part. It's got um, all the different orbits. The orange is the next orbit deadline. So some of them you have to do quick or the International Space Station will already be gone and you won't be able to book your picture. Uh, but right now we're gonna go to image request right up here. Well, here's the map of, of the Earth. And once you know whereabouts your area is, so I know the Nile River is here, I'm gonna look through the different orbits and notice here, I need to find red orbit. Because the blue is night, it won't let you book a picture because there's not enough light. So I go here and orbits 2404 to 2408, look where they go. They're in the southern hemisphere and they're going through South America. So if I wanted to book a South America, uh, there it is. You look at the next orbit. Oh, look at that. Getting close. There's where I want to be. So let's take a look at the orbit after that. Nope, that went way out of my way. So you're going to have to check through the orbits, and if you can't find what you want, the next day the orbits might be a little different. 
oh, look at this, it's getting closer, but then it goes into its other orbit. This also gives you an idea of where the International Space Station is flying overhead at each orbit. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get exactly what I want. But that's your first uh, task. Is That's why I want you to pick different places. Because look, I don't have any orbits today that go where I want. So I'm going to go to my plan B. Let's see where else I can get a good photo. All right, I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to zoom in. Look for a cool place in this part, and I'm going to click on it. Okay, so now I've got the place marker, so scroll down. I've got the current position 2.76 degrees south, 20.03 degrees east, and image request info is right here. This is really important. So when I click on request image, I'm going to move this over. And it says, you need a code word to request an image. So I'm going to look for my name, because everybody's got their own separate codes. And I'm going to pick my first one, copy that, Control-C to copy, then paste right here, and I'm going to submit. It says code word accepted, but you got to make your request. So now I need to find the orbit number, which is right here. So I'm going to copy that 2473, paste right there. And the GMT, I need this information, Greenwich Mean Time, put it right there. And then the latitude is 3 point, that I need to type just the numbers, 3.18. I don't want the degree sign or the south because I have to click south. And 16.71, and that's east. East is already uh, selected. And the location, I'd have to look at Google Earth to find out where I picked. So I'm going to go back to Google Earth and find out where in the world am I. So it looks like I'm in the Central African Republic. Yeah, must have been around there. So I'm going to put Central African Republic, reason and description, looking for the different features of this area. Uh, so you put down your reason. Why did you pick this place and describe it? And it looks forested to me. And then when you click Submit, Boom, you submitted, your request has been accepted, and you may continue to another request. Uh, and that's when you would put your second code. These are one-use codes only. So once you use it, it's no good anymore. But it's booked. And then you can go to View Requests, and you'll have a list of your requests there. So there's my first request, submit it, and um, it's going to happen at Greenwich Mean Time, 40, 36, no, 4.40.36, and I can look up when that's going to happen. But then you come in the next day, and you'll have your uh, images, and you'll get to see what you took. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, ask me, but uh, it's going to be great. I can't wait to see what we all pick.